Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at a very good idea. This one that I'm currently standing on is called the Undertow Mining Barge, which is essentially an extension of your mining ships to allow low efficiency mining ships to last a lot longer. So you'd simply just park your mining ships on one of these connectors, there's one on the back as well, you'd fly this around like a ship, get to your destination which usually would be a asteroid cluster, then out goes your mining ship, they can then do their job, then come back to this and you can move on to the next one. Anyway, press the F10 and find this in the spawn menu. The undertow is 625 large blocks using no DLC packs and no mods. We also have some lovely information about it on the Steam Workshop page, such as the lore behind it, and all the important technical information, such as the PCU limit, length, width, and height, and where it can go. So giving this thing a thumbs up, we'll move round to, well, I suppose we'll start on this section, near the door, have a quick look around the outside, a quick look at the interior, we'll fly around like a jib, and I think that'll be that. So over here at what I presume is the very front, we have a bunch of unfinished catwalks that link our two landing pads together, where we can clearly see a doorway to go inside. We have two doors back to back to act as our airlock, then surrounding all of that we've got a lovely grey, dark grey and yellow steel blocks to give it that overall great look. We can also see two cargo accesses to manually load stuff up or dump stuff off if we need to, as well as a clear LCD screen labelling each pad. If we were to come over to this one which I'm not currently standing on, this is what each landing pad looks like, to our unfinished cover walls going around the outside, and there is the connector in the middle. Pulling away from that and coming over to this section, we've got a hydrant thruster to help slow this thing down, as well as a bunch of steel blocks to make sure if you did run into stuff, hopefully these will absorb most of the damage and not damage your precious mining ships. Coming over to this section, this is what it looks like at the very, very front with everything all set up. Then moving around onto the side, hopefully this has the sunlight on, but I'll put my light on for the moment. But we can see how the cover wall has been set up around our landing pad. Down below here, we can see how our hydrogen thrust has been connected up the main body with some lovely white and red conveyors. Then over to this section, we've got a bunch of yellow steel blocks with some unfinished columns with some interior pillars on the end, a interior turret for some added defense, and we've got some unfinished hinges on the top and the bottom for some more decoration. Moving towards the back, another hydrogen thruster to help on the left and right hand side. We can see a full on gatling turret on top, which would be very nice for pesky drones. And there's a gyroscope to help move this thing around. At the very back, this is what's going to push us around and give us some fantastic speed. Got eight hydrogen thrusters and another docking pad for a larger ship to come up and connect up to. Just be careful that it's not too close to those thrusters, or you could end up damaging it if you're moving around. Moving all the way up, there's another doorway to get inside. Once again, a double door for an airlock. There's our gyroscopes. There's our large hydrogen tanks. There's our Gatling gun on top. And we've got a little strip of white going through the middle there. And that does look nice with how it's all been set up, especially when the shadows hit it. On that section, we've got ourselves an ore detector. So if you really wanted to, you could strip that off your mining ship and put something else on there instead. Going towards the front, we can see two large cargo containers. There's another interior turret. There's an antenna to make sure you can always find this thing. And coming down and underneath this thing, all the way around here, we can get a clear view of our conveyors, linking everything together. So there we go, they join up onto those cargo containers, then once again into the middle, then towards the back there, some more hydrogen thrusters, and there's the very back, we've got two remote control blocks, just in case we want to use them. And that's that for the outside of the Undertow Mining Barge. It looks bloody fantastic with how it's all been set up, and it looks like something that just spawned in the world by default. It's been very well done. What I can do now is just grab hold of my character, we come in through this door and have a look at the inside. So open up this, there we go, we now open up this one, just looking down we've got a small air vent there to cycle the oxygen. Closing that one, this is what we get on the inside. So we're instantly greeted by a friendly turret to make sure we're not misbehaving, and there is an air vent to make sure we don't suffocate. We've got some more unfinished cover walls just to make sure we don't go under those steps and try to surprise someone and perhaps they fall down the steps and injure themselves. And around here, programmable block with nothing going on with it. So this programmable block is going to be very useful if you say you want to have an auto door and airlock script, a automatic sorting system, that's entirely up to you with what you use it for. Coming up these steps all the way around, you probably notice that we do not have a gravity generator on here, so you could remove all those programmable blocks, add in one in that section, and you should be fine. Yes, round over to here, we've got ourselves the doorway to go to our rear pad. We can see our O2 HU generator in the floor below. We'll just open this up for the moment. There we go, that's a back pad for your large ship to come and dock up to. Coming back through here, closing them up. Oh, close myself inside. We now come up these steps. These will come to our control station to actually fly this thing around. First of all, facing behind us, we've got ourselves some fake beds made out of our original passengers. And there's a poster right at the back there. Then looking up, another cargo access to manually drop stuff off. 
to turn around and coming towards the front, we do have a button panel, which you will have to set up manually if you want to control a few bits and bobs. The only thing I can suggest on this is perhaps to have a master control for the doors to close them all up at the same time, disconnect all the connectors, and maybe to toggle the hydrogen tanks to stop out on and off. But yes, at the front, getting into the chairs, bring up the HUDs, these are the only controls we get. So 1, 2 and 3 is going to be for our interior turrets all the way around the ship to turn them on and off. 5, 6 and 7 is for our connector to lock and unlock them. Number 9 is for our antenna on and off. To tab number 2 we've got our hydrogen engine on and off. Our batteries to auto or recharge. O2 HG generator on and off. Our hydrogen tanks to stock power on and off. Our thrusters to turn them on and off. And then our ore detector and then our lights all the way around the ship. And there we go, that is that for the controls. So we're going to fly this thing around. Don't expect too much from this because it is going to be pretty bad at slowing down. But at the end of the day, this will be moving very slowly and very carefully. To make sure you don't damage anything, so you will have your precious mining ships attached onto this. So moving forwards, as you expect, we are bloody fast. Letting go in that, we are a lot slower. And we just about had the gyroscope controls to do a 180, boost forwards, and slow ourselves down a lot quicker. Moving left and moving right were pretty slow. But that's to be expected from a singular thruster. Then moving down, and then moving up. There we go. Well, faster than left and right, but nowhere near as fast as moving forwards. Then winning my mouse around, this is what we get, as you saw for the 180. We've got a nice sort of control over this. It's very meaty, very heavy, and should serve you well when this is nice and heavy, full of resources. As for that, that is pretty much it for the Undertow Mining Barge. It's a lovely little utility ship if you do wish to download and play around it in your world. It will be very useful for very small mining ships that have limited capacity on what they can do. So there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download it and play around it yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.